Over the next couple of lessons, we're going to be looking at isometric drawing. Isometric is a really good way of drawing something in 3D and seeing both sides of it. In the previous lessons, you've looked at one two-point perspective, where things get smaller as they go further away. This is not the case with isometric. You'll see both sides. It's used quite often in graphic representations of things where you want to get this information. So you'll see it in kind of architectural drawing. You've also seen it in games. So you'll have seen it in um, Minecraft, obviously, dealing with cubes. Uh, there is some isometric in it, although there is some foreshortening as in uh, sense of perspective and things going further away. But um, in the top right here, you'll see one of the original games, Cubert. Um, you may remember Cubert from Wreck-It Ralph, but his game was entirely isometric where he had to jump up each of these isometric blocks. You'll also see it in games like Warhammer and other strategy games like Clash of Clans, where in order to give a good view of everything that's going on, they use this isometric projection. So uh, let's have a look at what isometric means. Iso uh, is actually Greek. It comes from the Greek for isos, um, and it means equal or the same as. Whereas metric is actually French origin word, um, and it means a, uh, a specific unit of measurement. In DT, we always use centimeters and millimeters and meters, preferably just millimeters. In primary school, you probably learnt when you were told to draw a cube, you straight away drew a square and then had some lines coming off and made it 3D. We call that oblique. If you were to draw, draw a cube and have some perspective, as you did in the previous lessons, you would find that the uh, lines get closer together as they go further away. Uh, whereas isometric, this one here, isometric, you can see that it's the same size uh, lines and they don't get any closer as so they go further away. If we look over here, you can see we've got a 30 degree baseline. If all the lines are 30 degrees, what lines, what are the only lines when drawing a cube? What are the only lines that are not going at a 30 degree angle? That's right, it's the upright lines. All the other lines are going at 30 degrees and they're all parallel. So use the blue line as an imaginary baseline and you can see that the other lines are at 30 degrees. When you're drawing a cube, you start off with the front corner line. I've used three different colours so you can see that an isometric cube is made up of three sets of parallel lines. Once I've done the front corner, I then use the green and blue lines to do the first 30 degrees. And it almost looks like a book when I've done the other two sides. In your graphics book, this is the first task for you to do. There's an isometric grid that you can follow. What I want you to do is to draw a cube, and then once you've got that right, I want you to try and take away a, a section, again, cuboid section, so that in this case, I've just taken a cutting from the middle of the top. You could uh, take a section out wherever you want. The next task is for you to uh, finish off these letters. They've all been started on the right-hand side. Then, using the isometric grid, I want you to just draw some shapes, any old shapes you want, uh, experiment, they could be connected, they could be separate as I've done them here. The final task is for you to do an isometric creeper. Draw it carefully and shade it carefully. It doesn't have to be a green creeper, it could be any colour you want. Alternatively, you might want to stretch yourself and do a different Minecraft character. There's lots of tutorials out there and I've put a link to one of them in the uh, Alternatively, you might want to challenge yourself and try and do a different Minecraft character. I've put a link to a very good tutorial in the description for this video. Don't forget to upload your work to Google Classroom so your teacher can see it and give you some feedback. Hope you enjoy learning about isometric drawing and you have fun being creative.